Welcome to video five of section one, getting started. In this video, we're gonna learn the vocabulary of document automation with A to J author. These are the terms of art that describe tools within A to J author, components of the document assembly process, or little bits of programming that you might not be familiar with, especially if you are coming to us as a legal professional rather than a programmer. This isn't all encompassing, but as I was creating this training series, I tried to think of all the phrases that I commonly use that might not be commonplace to others. Pro authoring tip. Do this type of exercise yourself when you're drafting your A to J guided interviews. Critically examine all of the words that you're using and grade them against what a pro se litigant unfamiliar with a legal process is likely to know. This will give you a decent starting point to use when building out your pop-ups and learn mores. Let's talk about a variable. A variable is a digital storage box for information, which is called values. The special thing about variables is that the value inside of them can change while the interview is running. So it's a variable because it can vary. There are specific types of variables. See the definition variable types. A template is a pre-made outline or structure that has spaces called fields, marked out for different pieces of information. It's one half of a complete document assembly package, which includes a template and an interview. Document assembly is the process of combining predefined templates with variable data collected from the end user. In A to J author, it's gathering the user's data in an interview and putting it together with a template that generates a legal form. A guided interview is a structured and interactive questioning process designed to collect information from and give information to an end user. In A to J author, it is the front end interface the user interacts with that is one half of a complete document assembly package along with a template. A function is computer code that does a specific job. The end user provides information as an input and the function manipulates that data according to a set boundary. For example, the sum function adds up all the values stored in a specific variable, like the variable user expenses. A just-in-time learning feature is additional help to an end user just at the point in the interview that they would need it. This can be pop-up definitions of legal terms, videos, graphics, or additional text to explain legal concepts, or examples of what people in similar situations put in those blanks. This is the magic of an A to J guided interview for self-representing end users. Conditional logic is instructions that tell the computer program to save a user's answer a certain way or route an end user down a certain path, depending on whether something is true or false. A macro is a way to display the end user's data back to them. For example, using the user's name that they've already told you at the start of another question, like, Jessica, tell me how many children you have. A field type is the way information is gathered from an end user, such as a date field with a calendar display, or a text field for a first name that only has one line of spacing. A pop-up is a just-in-time learning feature that usually contains a definition for a legal concept. Pop-ups are blue, underlined words in the page text that a user can click on to get a definition. A pop-up can be text, a graphic, and or a video. Finally, a variable type specifies the kind of data a variable can hold. For example, number variable types can only hold numbers and not text. Now you know the terms of A to J art that we'll be using throughout the course. I've included a fun word search in the course training materials as your activity for section one, part five. You can find it on the course landing page. Join us next for the final video in the getting started section related to scoping a project.